and we are live welcome everybody to the beard society e-rock what's up brother vato deliberately ron how you doing my man liam liam wants fat girls here you got three of them brother break out those <laughs> jolly ranchers man we want some <laughs> you better have green apple though that's my favorite or the blue ones <laughs> or the blue ones. Jerry. Waltimus, Rob Brannon, Beards ah. and Shenanigans. Look at that. Kyle look at there. And the Beards and Shenanigans logo. Look at there. He's got it. Oh, Looks. look at there. That's nice. Oh, that's love cool. It. Love it, brother. That's that's nice. That's an awesome logo Ken Bluegrass did for him. How's everyone oh, doing tonight? Did that. Yep, Bluegrass that's did that. Good. Good. Yeah. At that least I'm assuming work. Bluegrass was working on one for him. Okay. So I'm assuming cool. that's the one he did. Cool. I love What's it. What's going that, on, guys? That leprechaun Irish type. Yeah. You know, feel to yeah, it. I like it. So, yeah. No. What uh, was that 80s band that was like a rap group that was Irish? They had Jump. Everybody Jump. Remember? I know who you're talking about, but I can't. I, it's on the tip of my tongue. That kind of reminded me of that. Jay Cruz, Somebody will up? know. Mac. Christos. Mac. Scott. Christos. Scott, we were just talking about you in the green room, man. We were just doing that. Weren't we, Brett? Well done, brother. Well done. <laughs> there you go. Listen up, Scott. <laughs> we, well we were, done. We were just talking about this one right here, the summoning. Fantabulous. I think it is safe to say that Brett is really enjoying the the new blend and possibly even the old one i i don't know i'm telling you right now very complex and very very good and very, very long good. lasting too yes yeah. i put it in oh 10 o'clock this morning and i can still <laughs> smell it and it's five o'clock my time dang man uh I got a, uh, I got a similar, I got a similar uh, effect out of uh, smoke and mirrors, yeah, yeah, and and, uh, and the tinker. I've been so hung up on them too that I haven't even. I've got another one in the new blend. I haven't there. I've got either two or three back there that I haven't worn at all, just What's because the, I yeah. am hung up on that new blend. What's the tinker? It's good, dude. And I normally hate clove. It's got a little bit of clove in it, but it's not. You know, usually when right. when clove is there, it's forward. Right? right, it is not. It is not forward in this. Everything's present in this scent. They've done an excellent job. Is if that the like one with the mango? With Chloe, uh, you know what? Let me just grab it real quick. Okay. Uh, and you what? know what? That'll and that that guys, that's hang on. Uh, that's kind of what we're talking about tonight. What we want to see out of the uh, out of beard companies in twenty twenty one. What we're hoping for, you know. What uh, our how, predictions are, what we want yeah. to see exactly, and yep. and that's yep. a good way to open it with a uh, beard manner. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, let's just start. Let's just start with them. They're They're Jeff Rice. Jeff Rice, what's up, man? For two guys coming out of the gate, man, they came out swinging. I know. And like, holy crap! If I you if I ever thought about the here, let me tell you one bad thing about beard manner. If I thought about starting a beard company. Beard man, it just made me up my game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because they came, do you know what I'm saying? They exactly. came out like, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> they came out like, pop, pop, pop. what's up, Matt? How you doing, brother? Hey, Matt, Dagan. What's Jeff. up, Suasana? How are you? Uh, <laughs> Dagan, what's up, brother? Suasana? Yeah, what's going on, fellas? So uh, uh, let me clear that off there. Let me find it. So the tinker is. <laughs> I've got a question when you're done too. Is black clove, rich oak, dark amber, deep leather, and smoke? Okay. Uh, it is fire. It is fire. You know, and, and and I'm gonna throw a little bit of feedback right here. And this actually, to me, this can actually make or break a scent, especially when it releases or it drops. Take that clove just the word and move it to a different spot on the label. Don't have that clove up front, put oh, something else. Put because the, that would keep you from buying it. Put maybe, the leather, possibly. you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That oh, I think. Right. Yeah. That, yeah. What you're that's in the vein of like where we learned where the first, 
oil that's listed is, is the heaviest the one that's prominent. Yeah. 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 So it makes that's your mind good. think uh, that clove is going to be up front, even though right. it's not. And I, that's great. To, yeah. my, uh, to, to my knowledge, you don't have to do that because a lot of companies just no. put fragrance. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. You don't yeah. have to. Yeah. You don't. You don't have to do that. So you get listed in any. That would be. That would just be a, a, a suggestion for me. You know, mm -hmm. really, really think about. And this is for all companies. Really think about what what scent note you're gonna put first mm -hmm. onto your label because that's gonna grab. That can. I to me that can make or break sales right there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Smelly Turtle, how you doing, brother? Did Turtles. you guys, did you see uh, Dagan's little short video he did on how to use beard products that don't work for your beard? He just put it up. Uh, not if he just put it up. I've been outside working. <clears throat> it's been, well, it might have been a day ago, but okay. basically he's, he, everybody go watch that video. He is saying to apply heat to your beard before oil, just a little bit of heat yep. to open up the, open up the porosity, then put it in and then apply more heat. Has anybody okay, ever done so, that? Has anybody so let me, ever let done me, uh, that? Let me weigh in on that. Yeah. I use, so <clears throat> I put about, I, I use about half to three quarters of a dropper or about three pumps out of a pumper, depending on how well it pumps. Yeah. Uh, some of them it's like four or five pumps because they don't yeah. pump very good. Mm -hmm. But uh, so what I do a lot of times I will heat the beard up like that. And that's not even on something that won't work for me. That's just on beard products in general. Uh, but I use, I rinse with hot water in the daytime. I rinse with cold at night. Uh, so I do my cold rinse at night and I, I don't do a lot of, I used to do two cold rinses a day and mm -hmm. my beard feels better when I do at least one hot rinse. Okay. Uh, and then, so as soon as that beard's warmed up, man, I don't even dry my beard. I shake my head as hard as I can. Okay. Now that my beard's a little bit longer and it gets it gets enough of the water out, I do it two or three times, and then while my beard's still warm, I get the oil in it, and mm -hmm. that man, that seems to work better than just about anything that I've done. Gotcha. Uh, so, so no, I would back him up a hundred percent on that. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try putting just a touch of heat first, put the oil in, then wait, and then heat again, and just see if there's any difference. That's a good way to look at it. But I'm the same way. I just I get in a hot shower, I get out. I just towel dry it really quick and then I put the stuff in and noticed a huge difference. Right. Right. Zebra. Yeah. Yep. I hear you brother for sure. Uh, yeah. What's going on, Gary, Daniel, who else coming in? Nope. That we already got turtle. Okay. Uh, so, so yeah, man, I mean, that's, I, I'm, I'm impressed with them and, mm -hmm. uh, I'll tell you something right now. I don't know if it is his, if it's his competitive spirit or the rest of the community's right and he's just an asshole. But anybody, any company that Gary Lewis worries about, oh, doing Lord. Something because he, yeah. even if there's a company that he might secretly be worrying about, he's not he going to do it. it. He's not he going to do it publicly. No. You know what I mean? And he, he publicly worries about Beard Mana. So, mm. I mean, that's, guys, that's a company to watch out for. Yeah. That's well, a company to watch out for. Yeah. yeah for sure. And speaking and, of, and, and we've got Beard Mana on the show in two weeks. Two weeks from yep. today, right? That was supposed to be a surprise, but no, I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, so you I'm son kidding. of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See, no, I'm, I just, got I'm just kidding. I yep. got Enchanted Scrolls, I think, when they were on Beard Therapy, yep. and they did a giveaway, mm -hmm. and I won the giveaway, and I'm telling you, I'm, I'm having to, you know, at least on the Enchanted Scrolls, I've had to ease back because it's been um, out for a while. And then when they would get it in, of course, I've already hit my, you know, breaking point. Yeah. With right. the. So. But I couldn't. I couldn't help it. I had to get the summoning, and it is fantabulous. Just. I told. Scott and Chad here a while back that that Enchanted Scrolls, I don't know how they could beat it. You know, mm -hmm. there's, there is scents out there that I like more, but I don't know if there's a leather Ford scent out there that I like more. I don't, I don't know if there is, man, I really enjoy this, but I am not too far from saying that the Tinker 
has that one beat out, man. I really like that. And I like smoke and mirrors too, but I, I like the tinker better than smoke and mirrors. Okay. I, bar none. I don't know. I smell that cran apple and the enchanted scrolls and it just is. Yeah. Oh. That summoning is really good, dude. That, that's, that is, that is a good scent. They make killer scents. That's all there is to it, man. It's, and this new blend, the new oh, blend is yeah. really nice. And their scents are like, nice. like nothing else. To me, the ones well, I've smelled, they're very, very unique and complex, are. you know, well blended, complex. Mm -hmm. um, it's not one scent more forward than another. Mm -hmm. um, like yeah. you it, like I can I can pick out the cran apple only because my mind goes right to it. But it's not like it's cran apple forward. You get all of it yeah. together. Oh, and no. it's just. Right on, Jeff. I'm glad you liked it, brother. You know, awesome, I really man. like the Wendigo, too. I really enjoy the Wendigo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, re I really like that one also. My least favorite out of the six that I got is going to be potion number nine, but I, I don't dislike that one. I don't think I got potion number nine. Uh, and I've got it in the old blend, so that probably adds... You know what I mean? If I had that in the new blend, that would probably... I mean, it could possibly trade places with something. Now, if you guys uh, do, either of you have Solaris the Sun Dragon? Uh -uh. Who is that one? Good. Oh man, juicy pineapple. We got to get this for Joe. <laughs> sweet, sweet strawberry, sparkling orange, creamy vanilla, sweet oud with a hint of white birch. Yeah, right. which one's that? Solaris the Sun Dragon. That sounds really good. That is a Amazing, amazing scent. Amazing. I haven't smelled one I don't like. I don't know. I'm steering clear of the one that's the, what is it, the pink um, candy one. Oh, Sweet Shop. I want that, yeah, man. I don't have it. I don't have it, but I want See, I'm that. not a big, I know what I like. Yeah. So I gravitate towards the ones that. I couldn't I, agree more, Gary. I totally agree with that. Yep. Absolutely. And and I will say their label game is improving. Yep. It is improving. Yep. When they when they get that label game up there to to match, you know, Bearded Mac or yep. Captain Stash or Chesapeake, when they get yep. it up there to match that, yep. <laughs> there's gonna be some people in trouble for sure. Other uh, than the fact that the label really is not protected, what about it do you not like? Just, I would like to see just a higher quality label. Yeah. If that makes sense. Like, a, do you know what I mean? Like an oil like I don't like. It just, there needs to be something that makes the colors pop. If I was to get that wet. be more. Yeah. If more I was to get that wet, it yeah. would, it would, you would see it the rest of the time I have this. Yeah. Uh, I think if they were to make the label like um, kind of a vinyl material it might make yeah. the colors pop a little better yeah yep. it would yeah it would uh kyle i've got drunk waffle on the way i haven't smelled it yet though does anybody else have drunk waffle no well that one intrigued me and i missed it on the first round i've got it coming in the new blend uh, be here Tuesday. so uh so what are your guys's thoughts on gary lewis coming for the oud crown coming for the what He's coming for the Oud crown. Oh, I'm not a big guy. If it's melded together, fine. That's one thing, yeah. but I'm not a big Oud guy. Like, I I personally think that... Oud's you know, overplayed. Got, well, no. I got the Kingsman, and I use this as an example all the time, Kingsman's Holy Grail, mm -hmm. and I straight up, like, it. it's the, literally the only scent... Um, I scent, not mm -hmm. product, but yeah. scent. I've actually had to wash out of my beard, and it took two times for me to do it. And I'm I think it's straight garbage. Okay. Yep. Um, now product wise, it was the beard jelly, but it wasn't the pro product. It was product and scent. Like the hammer, as it set more, it yep. gained more scent. And when I put it in, it literally gave me a headache. Whereas when I first got it, I was able to wear it all day long. It'd be fine. Okay. Um, 
but yeah, the, I'm not a big fan of oud. Now, if it's mixed in with other things, that's one thing. But straight mm -hmm. oud, right? No. Well, that and that's what I mean. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's it's really so. Uh, so so a comment was made here a while back, and I, I not not that I didn't believe the person, but I fact checked this, and they were right. Mm -hmm. There's only one fragrance oil oud. There's only one scent. Now you have oud mixed with many, many other things. You got birchwood and oud. You got uh, dark oud, which is probably some kind of a dark colony type scent. You know, you have white oud, which is you know you got all. There's all different kinds of oud and something. But if you're getting and the Straight, oud wood fragrance, that's the wood. only one there is. Every really? every different fragrance supplier, they use this. It's the same thing. So when when you're getting an oud like. Um, well, you know what? I was going to talk about tailored a little bit too. Mm -hmm. So let's go with them. So like, uh, so like tailored, they, they put a different oud in kind a lot. of oud and a different kind of oud and a lot of stuff right. on the label. Yeah. So the oud part of all the ouds that they're putting in there, the oud part of it is the same, but there might be sweet tobacco with one. There might be a little bit of smoke with one. There might be strawberry with, I, I don't know with one, something yeah. you know yeah there might be sweet notes to it there might be earthy notes you know there there's uh there's many different mm -hmm. oh <laughs> gary said not coming for it reclaiming it <laughs> <laughs> uh so uh so that being said i mean i can see where with and and i i would imagine there is tons that i've never heard of that, mm -hmm. that a beard company, I imagine there's many that a beard company ha just has yet to use. Mm -hmm. um, okay. You know, well, okay, let's, and, and and while we're talking about oud, let's go to Adam from Honyaker. You remember the pumpkin oud? Mm -hmm. I heard Adam make a comment. I, I think it was on Beard Therapy or one of the shows he was being interviewed. Somebody meant, somebody mentioned that oud. And he's like, well, he was like, that's, that's a, he's like, it's not really oud. He's like, that's a pumpkin oud. Yeah. So, so that kind of, you know, in, in, mm -hmm. in my mm -hmm. mind, uh, that, that plays to what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. And that Absolutely. tells me that, you know, that's probably pumpkin Ford with a little mm -hmm. bit of oud to give it some earthy, you know, or maybe right. some colony, a colony vibe to it, you know, well, and that was in, got, uh, which is breath. He's also got the, um, body language tap root and yep. I think there's one other he had that had oud in it. Put up and Gary's comment about it. I haven't smelled here. body language, but I have smelled taproot, and it's it's nice. Mm -hmm. Taproot is awesome. Okay, so the white oud is real essential. Okay, golden oud, regular oud, and black oud are all essential too. So it sounds like you can get more oud and okay. essential than you can fragrance. Right. right. So there's one oud that comes in a fragrance, and there's yeah. multiple in essential. That's interesting. I'm going to mute for a second. Okay. Uh, Christos, I can understand why some don't like Holy Grail, but for me, it's one of the scents I enjoy the most. I, it took me a long time to grow on me, Christos. I hated it. I was like Brett when I got it. And it's then the hype just kept going, and I tried it, and it grew on me, and I love it now. It's like my nose had to adjust or something. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. Gunslinger was that way with me. Okay. I first got Gunslinger and I smelled it. My wife and I smelled it and we're like, ooh. But then I actually put it in beard a couple days later. Mm -hmm. That was it. And you liked it? it oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> I I pulled the trigger on the Jack Frost and it's, it's okay. You didn't my like Jack Frost? Can, my wife can't stand it. So oh, okay. I... Uh, I got the gunslinger in the butter. It doesn't seem to last as long as my, what I'm about to run out of um, the balm. Mm -hmm. So you use both but, balm and butter then, huh? Well, in Fable, I will use either one. I'm starting to go strictly to butter for them because okay. I would, they, they were one, I had gotten a butter from them a while back. Yeah. And it seemed like I smelled more of the butters and not the fragrance. Mm -hmm. And then when you sent me the grower, yeah, that one, that's where it made me switch to their butters because 
that that oh CBD God, butter, amazing. the CBD butter, is so much better than his original butter, though. Big well, difference. It's, it's it, it was just I, I don't know this. Oh, yeah. the scent of the grower is amazing. It is. It is a good one. And yeah, Jeff, that's what I've heard. Real oud is very, very, very expensive. Yeah. And I doubt very many companies use real oud. I've priced it. Oh no, no. Yeah, yeah I, I can yeah. tell right off when a company when it's regular yeah. oud. I can mm -hmm. I can tell right off. Now I don't know about the white oud, the black oud, yeah. or the golden. I I don't know if I've smelled any of them or not, but I can tell you right now, just a regular oud. Uh, there's a company out there, and obviously I'm not naming them to to hurt them, but they just overdid it. They put too much oud in their in their oud, and they didn't add anything with it. It was USA Beards. And dude, that was the roughest scent I have ever smelled. It was, and it wasn't that it would have, it was bad or would have been bad or anything. It, yeah. It was over. They, they put too much in it and it was real. Oud. Really? It was, it was pretty, it was a pretty expensive combo that I bought. I actually wow. bought two of them. They, uh, they put them on sale trying to get rid of them. And mm -hmm. then I figured out why they were on sale because they had just, just didn't work. work. Yep. Mm -hmm. I think what they should have done is took about 10 bottles of it. And dumped it all together. Diluted and it. About two bottles of unscented, mm -hmm. if not more. I mean, it could, you know, it should have yeah. maybe been four or five unscented mm -hmm. to go in there. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But their oil was nice. I mean, there wasn't nothing wrong with the oil itself. It just that, man, it smelled uh, that oud when you, when it's too strong, it smells like dough urine, like the, mm -hmm. like the buckler, wow. you know, Oof. 69, something Oof. like that. <laughs> yeah, it was rough. It was rough. Hey Ken. Hey Daniel. What's up, Ken? Uh, oh geez. So so yeah yeah I mean it, it can be overdone. It can yeah. be overdone. You know. So we're gonna get into uh, beard companies in 2021. What we want to see, what we think we'll see. Uh, everybody's welcome, but we're waiting for one more guest. So we'll get into that in just a little bit. Uh, we uh, and and you know. Um, uh, another thing, uh, when it comes to when it comes to oud, a lot of times you can tell by the pricing. So, if every other bottle of oil on the website is fifteen bucks, mm -hmm. and they have an oud scent, then you know it's, it's probably real. It's fifteen bucks, most then likely, it's, yeah. it's it's fragrance. Yeah, if it's twenty twenty five, you know, uh, yeah, it's and I've seen that pretty consistently with companies that use the real oud. Yeah. Uh, there is a, there is a pretty, there's a pretty well-known company out there that he uses real oud, but his prices are already super high. Mm -hmm. so, hey guys, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right back. What's up, uh, Chad? How you doing, brother? Oh, uh, what up, Chad? Dagan, have you tried Beard Manny yet? I'm not sure if, I don't think Dagan has, but I'm not positive. I just saw you I... placed an order. I do not know. He he just always oh, said he just placed an order. I didn't. I yeah. didn't get this comment. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna love it if you haven't, man. Yeah. Let yeah, us know what really you got. Nice. It's really really nice. Uh, so uh, so uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop a little. I'm gonna drop a very just a just a little hint here. Uh, Ron. At some point, I'm going to need your address. You got plenty of time to give it to me, but at some point, I'm going to need your address. I actually think I have it, but it, I'm sure it's lost in messages somewhere. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> right. That's good. I was going to say that's, that's a good enough hint. That's all I'm going to tell that's you. That's a good right enough there. hint. Ron, send Mick your address, brother. No, Josephine, send me your address. what's up, my man? Why? Why is it he looks like a smelly turtle sitting there on screen? <laughs> I think he might have himself muted. Yeah, I think so, and I don't think he can hear us. Uh, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I was just right, Rick. My, uh, YouTube. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> how you guys doing? Good. How are you, man? Good. Doing yeah. well. Doing well. Dagan got the drunk waffle, the tinker, and enchanted scrolls. Nice. Awesome, Dagan. Nice. I'll have drunk waffle Tuesday in the mail. I hope. Wow, Ken's in here. It must be halftime of the Packer game. What's he doing in here? Hey, Mac. Hey, Ken. Hey, Good Jeff. A hey, uh, zebra. A hey, Ron. What's up, y'all? 
did uh Thank oh you i all. know they should i know why he come in quiet because because of therapy wednesday oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's keeping that yap trap shut for a while isn't he <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah. What it was. Uh, you talk all you want here. He's like, from now on, I'm Josh. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> I am. Let's see how Johnny carries it next week. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go quiet the first hour. See what Johnny does. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, let's get in. Let's open some beard mail, should we? Oh, hey, what's you want to do that now? Or you want to wait? It's up to you guys. Whatever. So I'm excited. Open your mail. I've been waiting like a week and a half, so I'm ready. Oh, yeah, uh, Hortoad's <laughs> owner said he would be here at six thirty. So. Oh, let's let's wait for him. Oh yeah, yeah. let's definitely wait. Let's wait for let's him. I don't wait. know if he was in here or not, but he said he wanted yeah. to stop by. He was yeah. he he, uh, he actually seemed kind of psyched about it. So. Right. Brett, I haven't seen you with the glasses. Yeah, um, they're mostly for reading, but I was doing a little bit of reading earlier, and I was doing a lot of. Oh yeah. And so instead of pulling back and looking at it that way, I just figured, you know what? Let's put on the old man shades and get her <laughs> you done. Look, you look way smarter to me, Brett. I mean. You do that. No, you, you do. do. <laughs> <laughs> Love you too, brother. <laughs> hey, Clint, Clint what's going on? Hey, Clint, speaking of. Uh, hey, there's you're... Quentin Height from Horn Toad Beer right. Company. What's oh, up, What's going on, hey, brother? Right? Thanks for joining well, us, man. On. Yep, welcome, welcome, welcome on in. Uh, <laughs> all right. Do we want to go ahead and open? I'm, yeah, I'm, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's open. We've got we got a good surprise from Barbado Joe down there, and yeah, that was all Joe. He got us all. <laughs> some Unfortunately, beard mail. the mail messed it up, but there's a lovely horn toad hanging behind all this mail. Uh, Oh, like that's right awesome! There in the man. bag, so it's one of these kind of bags, but you got that lovely horn toad. That yeah. is cool. So, that is super cool. Real quick, so horn toads have been around a while. You know, um, Quentin, it's like four or five years at least, I think. Wow. It's one of those companies that I've wanted to try for a while. Mm -hmm. But when we had that big charity get, uh, in December for um, Beardnomics, uh, Quentin had put six oils up, and I'm like, well, there ain't no better time than the present. Yeah. So I, I bid on those. I won those. And um, and Clint got them out quickly. They just got in here, almost a month in the mail from Texas, yeah. even the heart of Texas. Yeah. So I was, ooh, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little whiffy right out the bag. <laughs> <laughs> now I op I opened my external packaging, and my two came in this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God! Look at that. Wow. You got the same thing. So you got the same thing. A sealed bag. That is with a super, zipper. I love super that. Cool. I love that. I love that. If you so have it's a almost spill, like it it's like one of those Capri Sun. It's like one of those Capri Sun bags. Oh. Right. It can stand on its own. Damn. You know yep. what I mean? Holy cow! Um, um Quentin, thank you. Uh, this was not part of the, the giveaway, but I got me a butter. Sweet. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Well, yeah. Barbershop. One of the scents I don't believe I ordered. A barbershop butter. Ooh, okay. Show us that. Show us that butter, Joe. It's, it see. says. Um, Whipped deep conditioner, all right. Okay. We got the little thingy bobber here. Nice, got the label on the side. Oh, oh look at that! There we go. Ooh, that looks like a good one. Let's get that light off of it. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Label on the side. Nice. There's that nice. horn toad. That's that such is, a bad that's, that's a cool, <laughs> I that's love a it. Pretty cool, cool little label right there. So, here, here was the idea, guys. I wanted Mick, Mick and Ryan, as enormous as their collections are, had never tried Horn Tone either. So I got all, we all got one that this is the same. We've got one that all three of us have. Then Mick got one of the ones that I have in my six. And Ryan got a different one that I have in my six. Oh, okay. Right, so me so and Mick don't have the same thing. Okay. You, two of yours, of your two oils, one of them's the same. And then the other two are different. Nice, yeah. nice, nice. I almost don't want to open this. I'm I know. Want to open it. <laughs> I know. Super nice, man. Super nice. I love the bottles. Yep. I love the black bottles. Oh yeah. The only thing is them dad gum child proofs. But I, I, I like I them, man. Nobody you likes like those, but I I like the way they look. Oh. God. I like the way they look. I understand I, the point them. behind them, though. I like the big top on. Yeah. But right. I'll tell okay, you so we both have red, man. Yeah. 
We all, um, we all on the have two oils that my son got into, if they would have had the child proof, he probably wouldn't have. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, okay, so we all three got red in this. Yes. We all three got red. Yes, sir. Teak oh, looky back. there. Woo. And Ooh. so yeah, what I like, too, is the variants. Um, Nick, no. show that Texas flag again. Yes, sir, Brett. You just showed teak wood and tobacco? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Brett's, Brett's got a major heart on right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so I love that one right there that Mick's got that yeah. variant. Of that the is so really awesome. Like yeah, Such I a really badass like label. All right, Clint, got, Clint's going to give me shit about it, but it's uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Is are they from where the TCU horn frogs are from? That's what I was gonna ask Quentin. I know horn toads are um or horn frogs or yeah, horn toads are a Texas thing, right? Yeah. But are you near TCU, uh Quentin? I would hey, Copper Tyson, welcome on in, brother. Oh, you know what? They're from Lubbock. They're or close to Lubbock. Yeah. They are okay, because yeah. he's mailed out of Lubbock, so they uh yeah. so I bet uh they're close. Yeah, they're, to they're, they're close. I don't know how close exactly, but they're de they're definitely close to Lubbock. All mm -hmm. right, so let's let yeah. me pull up Horn Toad real quick, just so we can get all the scent profiles for these three that we're going to be looking up. All right. Uh, I can probably pull it up and share screen, Joe, if you want me to. Oh, do yeah. that. That's let's there we that. go, Nick. Yeah, let's do that. I'm never on that end of it, so yeah, you you do that quick thinking, sir. Good lord, I hate that. Oh, four hours away. Four hours away. So. Oh, well, just because it's a cool little animal. That when yeah, I see Tyson, you like that hat, brother? It really shows in the middle. <clears throat> the one cool thing I know about horn toads is they okay. squirt blood out of their eyes when they're like nervous or scared or uh, something. No oh, shit. Cool. Right yeah, they squirt That's blood. A cool little fun there. fact. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so Mick's gonna get it up. This first <laughs> one is called. Uh, Signature. There we go. Are y'all are y'all seeing it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. That's, oh, that's where cool we're, there we go. Perfect. All right. So you, as you can see, he's got at least Quentin's got at least a dozen, if not more. That's that's four rows Three, there. Yeah. Six, six, nine, nine, twelve. 12. Yeah. yeah. Good solid twelve. Yeah. Now this I remember was apple. Oh, that looks so gorgeous there. Too. So this is the one we all three have the signature red. Yes, sir. What's yeah. on that one? Mick, what does it say? Apple? An uncommon matchup of red apple, mahogany, and a touch of smoke to create a one-of-a-kind fragrance. Ooh. I'm, I'm Ooh. liking that, yep. So Ooh. for the time, I'm going to come back here, so I'm not going to be able to move on the screen because okay. I, wanna, I want mm -hmm. to uh, smell it with you guys yeah. for the first time and uh, uh, see everybody's reaction. I haven't smelled it yet. I had it sitting here open. <laughs> I want to smell it. <laughs> Remember, gentlemen, shake above the screen. Above the screen. Above the screen. Oh, above the screen. Yeah. Okay. Or above, yeah. It's like above the screen. <laughs> really? <laughs> wow. Well, Brett, does that look better? Or does this look better? I can't tell that you're shaking. <laughs> All right, Ryan, what, you ready? What you do below the screen, on. Ryan, is I'm ready. you and below the All screen. Right. I'm going in. <laughs> Oh, oh my God! Come on, Get out on. Of here. Oh, 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 oh. That's the thing. That is gorgeous. Wow! Wow! Oof. 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 Oh my God! That is I'm great. Jealous. That no. is freaking good. <laughs> Damn! So that's like nothing I've ever smelled. Nope. That's like nothing I've ever smelled. Nope. To me, that mahogany is forward a little bit, but yes. that apple, that apple, apple's right there, hanging out right around it. Yeah, I appreciate oh, yeah. a scent that is has apple. That's not only apple because I spend a lot of money on several products that I only get apple out of. Yeah, yeah, and I'm I, I like apple okay, but I want something else in there. Where I don't like straight apple. And the yeah. smoke is clear in the back for me. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It smokes. It's yeah. not a smoke forward heavy scent to me. No, at damn. All. not at all. For those people who don't like smoke forward, and I'm one of them. I like smoky, but not <sighs> smoke forward. And it's right up your alley. Yeah. Now you boys, I can't warm because um, mm. Kelly's in the next room. You boys are gonna have to warm and tell me if anything else comes out of that. Damn, that's good. That's a good one. Once again, horn toad beard co. And I wow. still, 
Oh. Mick, what do they run? They run 16, 16, 50, something like that. Uh, I know. 14, 14, 14, 79. 14, the, 79. The apple goes more to the back when I warm it up. What, and what, what comes the, out then, Ryan? The teak wood. Is it teak wood? It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. The teak wood comes more forward. I'm getting a, I'm getting a clean, a clean with a little bling. bit of apple, uh, like a clean woodsy scent with a little bit of sweet fruit. Perfect. Oh man, I'm getting just a tiny, tiny bit of that smoke. Tiny uh, bit of smoke when you warm it up. They're, they're. Uh, I would compare it, like the the amount of smoke <laughs> with uh, uh, the pineapple smoke scent from Chesapeake that uh, the, on on strength. That's about how. Okay. See, and I, I get yeah. a little more. To, for Do me, you get a little more? A little more than Chesapeake. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I really like that. Okay, so some of these oils are twelve seventy nine. Oh, okay. Some are fourteen seventy nine. Uh, and I'm probably I'm going to go ahead and assume that is due to. Uh, so the signature looks like her fourteen seventy. Like some of the essentials, yeah. 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 And the. Yeah, look at that. That thing's gorgeous. Man, that's nice. That's cool. Yeah. The blue is a little darker in, in on this label than it is there, but it's just a lovely take on the Texas flag. This one's called Texas yeah. 1836 or TX 1836, you choose. All right. Now, um, Ryan, Mick, you guys have to um you guys have to rock, paper, scissors to the other one because I've got them both. Ryan, go ahead. Ryan, go ahead. You go. No, I, I don't have this one. No, no, but no you, you have the other one. Yeah. Oh, I have the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You tell me which one you got, and I'll bring it up. Impresario. I have Impresario. Okay. This is a tobacco. You know if I'm getting something, I'm getting a tobacco. What else is in there besides that tobacco, man? The perfect Havana cigar blend. Subtle notes make this a fantastic everyday scent. All righty. So that's what, you, that's what we've got right now. What is it? It's, it's looking blend. like just a cigar. And oh, yeah. You tell me when you're ready, Ryan. I'm ready. I already did my whack a shake. All right, okay. let's do it. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's just a nice, oh. rich. I kind of feel nice, like I should have got that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful, beautiful yeah. cigar col hint, col hint of a colony vibe to me. Yeah, you guys suck. Very, it's very like, hint of my, a colony vibe. Yeah, there's a bit of almost like a fresh. Tobacco. Yes, fresh. There you go. There There's you just go. A, just just a little whiff of that fresh, but the tobacco itself is kind of deep and creamy. Golly, almost like you a describe it tobacco. Perfect. You describe but, it perfect, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. You were you were fine. It's just that I tend to stay away from vanilla tobaccos because so many are out there. So I don't want to get people thinking this is a vanilla tobacco, but no. it does have a, a like a creamy aspect to it. But yes. no, the vanilla. Yes, that's nice. Creamy tobacco. Joe, do you see this right here? Make that sure to smell okay. through that top vanilla note in, in the, the 1836. 1836. Okay. Yep. That's nice. That's two for two. That, two for two with me. Beautiful I'm red. It's Beautiful getting better scent. the more it dries up on my hand. Oh, my God. Now, now wow. before, before Mick opens his, just so you know, I got a rawhide. Now, rawhide, this is obviously a leather. Um, there was a... Um, a pecan scent that he was out of that I had chosen originally. So I'm going to go back and get that one. Where is that pecan, Mick? Oh, I'm getting that pecan. too. Absolutely. I mean, it's not on the site right now. Bourbon pecan. That's bourbon it. Pecan. So the bourbon pecan I wanted, he was out. So I'll be going back and snagging that one. Mm -hmm. Then we got pecan a pecan scent mixed with aged whiskey. Wives, girlfriends, and daughters like the sweetness of this. So <laughs> <there you go. laughs> I love that. Yeah. And then we got the Texas Spice, which is another one I was looking really, you know, I'm the beer diva, right? He he offered 12 cents and I liked like six or seven of them. Six are like must buys. Okay. You know, and then a couple other ones I would get, but these were must buys. Okay. So this is that Texas Spice. It's and a cedar that? based scent. Cedar based scent. Okay. Yep. So we this would not be for Meg. So the Teakwood Tobacco, we, we kind of, touched on that one that's a different one so that's another tobacco you can never have enough yep. and now mick you ready to do this tx 1836 just about um quentin i'm assuming 1836 is that the year texas won its independence um is that a year is that what we're talking i don't know my my history with the lone star state even though my grandma was from there 
what is the significance of that 1836? Well, we got some folk here. Uh, uh, also, Quentin, is the uh, is the cedar in that one that Joe was just talking about, is it essential or is it fragrance? And the only reason I ask is because I am allergic to cedar essential. Okay. And Joey that said correct. that is correct. Okay. Okay. So that's when the, the great state of Texas was a nation for a little bit of time there. Yeah. As one, it's independence. Okay. Hookham right. says he has a love, love relationship with mahogany teakwood or teakwood. And I knew that because of uh, debonair. They just yeah. it's a crisp apple, um, mahogany, and smoke. All right, Mick, when you're ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. They all just went back uh, oh, he said it's a fragrance, it. a fragrance on the cedar. Ah, okay. Okay. Good deal. Let's do it. Yeah, see, I'm Oh, now there's another wow. thing I haven't smelled before. This portion of the garden. Yeah. What's this? That's nice. What's this profile, Mick? It is a spiced no, vanilla. Do. They do, yes. Spice vanilla whiskey. That's the strong I'm getting. Oh. Oh, that's really nice. That is That's nice. really nice. I'm iffy with, with whiskey and bourbon scents. This ain't a bourbon. This is a whiskey. No. And, and, is whiskey. It's, and it's laying back. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. That is very nice. So uh, of the three we smelled, all of them were winners. That red to me, just because yep. of it total uniqueness and uh that I, I, yeah i'm not ready to say this 1836 i'm not ready to say i like it better than red yet right. but I, I like it i really like this i think yeah. i might like that impresario better a little better than red there we go now this of course is all out of the bottle boys and girls you got to get yeah. in here to really yeah, for sure. before you can say but just yeah. out of the bottle those three were great yeah, holy cow so Get yourself some horny tone. I want to thank Quint one more oh, time for offering what a great what a great gift for that auction, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah thank you, thank, thank you, you, Joe. Gentlemen. Thank you oh, so much, shit, Joe. Boys, I'm I'm glad to have this uh, this experience. It was worth it. And Quentin, thanks for awesome. the butter. Also, very very much appreciate that as well. Is the butter whipped or poured? It is whipped. It is okay. a whipped butter. So uh, also, guys, look at this right here. So you can get a combo kit, and it it looks like a oil and balm. I think it could be an oil and butter. Uh, I, I believe it's an oil bomb though, but it's only twenty three dollars. Oh wow! Wow, bombo! Yeah, yeah, it's an it? oil and a bomb. Yeah, that's yeah. a steal. Ask Quentin if his bomb is a light, medium, or strong hold. Okay, I think he heard I think, you. I think he heard you. Well, I'm sure he probably Quentin, did. Quentin, is your bomb <laughs> <laughs> is it light, medium, or strong? Am I the Quentin, am I the Quentin translator? <laughs> I checked that out. I can't That's, believe I did that. Uh, uh, hey, ask him as I'm gotta, asking myself, forgetting I'm in the line. You got to dumb it down a little for Brett Quentin. <laughs> in the oil and butter, in the porn or whip. That looks like a Richardson right there. I oh, don't know God, if it is. Yeah. Hat. That looks like a Richardson. Medium yeah. to heavy, Brett. Medium to heavy, he said. Okay. Medium Medium to heavy. Heavy. The bomb. Right. Yeah, I'll have to so, go with the butter then. Yeah. So just real quick, I just want to say real quick, the only reason I knew of Horn Toad is when I was doing all my background research for United Beards of America, he mm -hmm. was one of dozens of companies I came across. He doesn't have a huge Instagram presence. In mm -hmm. fact, it's, it's pretty light, even though he does have one. And that's why I don't think more dudes have heard of him. But yeah, yeah. he must be doing good business down in Internet or with barbershops and stuff, because like mm -hmm. I said, he's been around for a few years. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So I had heard of him before Joe had mentioned it. Mm -hmm. you've got this company that's been around for a while, but to a lot of guys maybe, or to at least some guys, it's going to be like this, this hidden kind of jam kind of thing because mm -hmm. maybe they hadn't yeah. experienced it before, you know, the website's beautiful. Yeah. yeah website's website. Wow. Website's Look at that great. wash. Eight bucks. That, that's a good price. That's a very good price on that wash. Eight bucks. Even, for how much? Is that a four ounce wash? I'm sure it is, but usually four ounces are almost double yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a four ounce tea tree. Oh, and yeah. Bearded Joey hook him. What's a bomb? Yeah, anymore. Exactly. Yep. Uh, and then the beard butters. Right now he has vintage barber barbershop and bourbon pecan, and they are 22. And those look like a four ounce. Is that a four ounce, Joe? Yes, sir. It is four ounce like bomb. A four or a butter rather. Yep. That's a hell of a good price, too. Yeah. Should be. Yep. Wow. Definitely a hidden gem um, in our community. Oh, Absolutely. yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed. 
Oh man, that's that red sand is just incredible. I'm gonna have to get that nice. impresario in red. Yeah, and don't mm -hmm. hey hey hey, and and don't forget a little of this. I I'm not gonna smell it here, but keep one in the back. Oh, there's another one, Brent. I know you love it. Oh, I, I forgot. You love it. Joe, this is the signature series. I mean, I smell wouldn't be opposed it. to you smelling it here, <laughs> dude. That no. that impresario, that impresario is getting better and better and better. All right, Brett. Oh, come on. You can't ruin teak wood. All you can do is make it better. And both of <laughs> the apple in one and the tobacco in the other. Oh, God. Dang. You know, if you mix them together, you got red apple no, I got tobacco. Three. Oh, I'm going to have to get that mix mix out before Mick does. Yeah. Now I'm going to have to get three. There these, you go. Two, these two that I got right here. Them two mixed, it's <laughs> pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> now we know how he does it, guys. He just let the secret out of the bag. <laughs> oh. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're in around 50 plus companies. Wow. wow. Right on. Well, Quentin, if you're still wow. in here, thank you very much. Hopefully, a couple guys saw this. Get to try it, your stuff. Yeah, um, thanks there's, for coming in, Quentin. Appreciate you. I think a yeah, few, absolutely. Absolutely. Few more, few more oils gonna be sold around just around this foursome right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Yeah. I gotta get that bourbon pecan, man. I know I'm gonna love that. Oh, me too. Me too. That's gonna be my number one. I'm gonna get next. Well, see, I was I, like I said, I was gonna pull it on the red and the impresario, but when he did the teak wood uh, tobacco, that that's the third. It's sold. Boom. There's Eric Kennedy with his little jab. Joe, didn't get, didn't you get all of your talking out Wednesday night? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying not to laugh if he's sm smelling it. I, know. <laughs> I really like this rawhide. It's not very leather forward. It's a leather scent, but it's not really? leather forward. Wow. It's got something else in the mix. Something kind of kind of that's what I like. Fresh and green in there. Cause I can't stand a two leather forward scent. This is nice too. Damn. This would definitely rank towards the bottom of all the ones I smell, but I knew that going into it, that it would be the six of six. Which one but is that? that? This is rawhide. But this six is of six is still damn good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's still a good, yeah, exactly. Well, right. yeah. <laughs> it's still a nice set. All right. Good well, deal. thank you boys. I enjoyed doing that with y'all. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, Joe. So what is, uh, what is, uh, what, what's something you want to see this year, Joe? Out of uh, out of all of our favorite companies, out of any company, is there anything that let me, you're not me, seeing that you want to see? Let me ponder that for a second, Mick. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. What uh, do you? How about you, Mick? What do you think? You go. What do you think will happen? What do you want to happen? Well, I, I'm seeing a trend of carrier blends being changed. Um, mm -hmm. I would like to think me and you had a little something to do with that starting off, you know, and then Dan through the knockout blow with mm -hmm. the video obviously yeah uh, you know but uh just off the top of my head we've got uh captain stash beard mana um dylon bearded sons and uh i know i'm missing one who am i missing taylor Ta taylor taylor bearded sons captain stash and uh beard mana and beard mana and then uh, also um i don't know how much bam is gonna change his carrier blend but he is going to come out with a alternate blend that doesn't have btms in it he already so has. Yeah. He, uh, okay he already yeah. has the oil yeah when you go on the website you it shows the the original jolly juice potion in the black white and the new formulated oil and okay it, and so it, and it he, says it on the on the front page when you open up so he must have just dropped that yeah right yeah. Yeah. good and I think uh -huh. that personally, I think that's going to explode yeah. his business. I really do. I, I, because yeah. some guys la love the BTMS, but then just as many, if not more, don't love the BTMS. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's just a great idea to where he can add the BTMS in if they want it and leave yeah. it out if they don't, you know. But uh, but but to finish that, um, these guys changing their carrier blend. Now, let's set aside for a second that it is to get rid of grape seed, which is what four of the five we just named have done. Mm -hmm. Let's set that aside a minute and let's just call it progress. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's one thing I'm looking for is companies to keep progressing. You know, I, I don't. Well, okay, let's take Bearded Matt for an, for example. They change their butter constantly, mm-hmm. but everything I've heard about it, it's constantly improving. Mm-hmm. So, and and you know, the constant improvement. I mean, as far as I know, it's it's been somewhat of a trend since a I yeah. I've been in the beard community. And that that's what I want to see more than anything. Pedro uh, from Black Rebel has Pedro always from Black Rebel his game. changed his. So mm-hmm. there's six right there. Uh, mm-hmm. He he changed his quite a bit. He added yeah. the cottonseed oil, mm-hmm. uh, took out emu, added ostrich. You know, which I mean, yeah, they're similar, but you know, they are they do have a little bit different uh, properties about them, or mm-hmm. one's a little better than the other, whatever it is. Uh, so so yeah, I mean, I want to see I want to see this trend explode. I want to see. Uh, I want to see a company change their carrier blend six times just because it doubles in how good it is each time. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, and you know, there's, there's other companies that have done this. This is not a changing the carrier blend is not a new idea. You know what I mean? It just, Mm -hmm. it seems like Dan's video struck a chord with, with a few companies, you know, and they, uh, and they changed it. I don't know when the other ones, I know when captain stash started changing his, uh, mm-hmm. And it, it's been in the works for a pretty good while, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I know when that one started, but I don't know when the other one started. It could have been before Dan's video, for all mm-hmm. I know. But I would guess yeah. that somewhere around that time, it was that was when it started. Mm-hmm. Okay, but that brings up the argument: Are they doing it because somebody said that it would be a good idea, or are they doing it because they think that they need to change their company? They, I, I believe they are doing it. I believe they're removing the grape seed because of the shelf life. And a I lot believe. of the, I have noticed, no. I thought it was me that only didn't like grapeseed, me and Mick. I seriously thought it was just us two because so many companies use it. But look no, at the comments. I'm not talking about like a company just removing one ingredient. Yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. about when, like when somebody does a video that says this might be bad or this might, and they just totally reformulate everything, whether it's for good or not. Right. <laughs> are they doing it because they agree or are they doing it to please the person making the video? And that's well, where my question is. That's a good point. Yeah. I, I hope because we don't if see you already that. Have some, uh, if you already uh, have something that's good and everybody's buying it, I could see like if it were just, for instance, because we're on the topic, you and Mick, um, you can't use grapeseed. So I could see the guy saying, well, I'll for you guys, if you're a regular customer, like say anointed AK, mm-hmm. they would remove grapeseed out for you for that oil that you bought, but not right. totally reformulate their blend. But if somebody, if, if reviewer A says <laughs> this, this sucks, and then they completely reformulate everything all the time to, to please the reviewer. See, and I get your point. point. You get your point totally, Brett. That I don't think they're doing it to please one person per se. Okay. I think the overwhelming amount of comments has made okay. companies yeah. look and say, "Oh wow, it's not just him. It's not just them. It's wow. Yeah. A lot of guys don't like this. You know what I mean?" Right. I think because that's my thoughts on it. I'm not positive, but I would think so. Because the thing is, if you're constant, I mean, I get you constantly want to change and you constantly want to grow. Mm-hmm. I get that. But there, what if you go to for, reformulate and then all of a sudden it goes down the tubes? Oh, yeah, it that, could happen. It could happen. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's or a it's definitely a gamble. Definitely a gamble. Or you run into the problem like Bam did a while back where he had to discontinue a scent because he couldn't remember what the scent was. Yeah. He lost where he wrote it down. Dave's done that before of Lux. He's um, actually got his stuff written down on like in, in a kind of like a, in, yeah, in like a what people would use as a memoirs or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he couldn't find it, took him a while to find it. So he may not have lost it, but Bam did. So then he had to come out with that. Um, it was uh, Holiday Delight. Mm-hmm. He had to come out with Holiday Delight too. Yeah, because because he yeah. couldn't remember. Yeah, what it was all in the in the thing. And Donald, I agree with you hundred percent on that. I think uh, I think a lot of companies are gonna a lot more companies yeah. are gonna go the CBD way. 
Yeah. I do. Uh, Gary, and, and and I'm going to agree 100% with Gary on this. I think um, I think what a company should do when they when they hear a reviewer, especially one that's got good street cred like Dan, when they hear when they hear Dan say, you know, grapeseed lowers the shelf life of your overall product, especially if it's a potent ingredient, uh, this that. I think they should use that to base research off of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You know, I, I don't think anybody should say, oh, Dan said grapeseed's not good. I'm never going to use it again. I, I And I, I don't I don't think they should do that. But no. I think they should listen to their reviewers and base their research off that. And, Gary, I'm not saying you don't do that because I know you do. Uh, I, I've watched you do it on a live. So but but that that's just my two cents worth on that. Now I'll say it here. I'll say it here. Own research, too. Cold pressed grapeseed is a great oil for the benefits, not for the shelf life. But the hexane grapeseed belongs nowhere in a beard product, in my opinion. Nowhere. No. Get it out of here. Well, let's <laughs> let's go into that. Actually, you know what? Let's give Joe a chance to talk because I asked him a question a while ago. If he's up to it, yeah. Um, there is not a not a darn thing um, I, I can honestly think of right now. You know, because I I just can't think of where the next innovation is that's necessary mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right now. Any innovation that I can think of would be more gimmicky than necessary. Um, but I'm not running a business. So there may be guys that are, you know, putting their minds to this. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I can't, I can't think of anything really. I, I really can't. That's okay. a good answer. That's a good yeah. answer. Yeah. By the way, there, I will, these... do y'all know some of you old school guys. Y'all know who this was? Oh yeah. <laughs> that is Pedro. Yeah. <laughs> I bought these for a review when I was reviewing, they've just been sitting. I won't try his, his new stuff, but, uh, I just pulled these out because I've had them forever. Never, never delved into them. Ooh, the go devil. That's the a go good devil one. Yep. <laughs> um, so, you know what? Let's go back to Horn Toad just for a second. And I meant to ask this a while ago. I don't know if he's even in here or not. Okay. So, uh, you know what? I'm going to share screen one more time here because there's something very interesting that I wanted to address. I hope he's still in here. I hope he's still in here. Uh, Right there. Can everybody see? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Let's just go to that one right there. <laughs> Fuck you, Ripken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our carrier blend is going to be jojoba, almond, grapeseed, shea butter, and beeswax. Now, mm -hmm. I, I have two questions. Actually, I have three questions. One question is that it says oils. So I'm going to assume that's what's actually in the beard oil. That's question one. That is proper for the beard oil, right? Mm -hmm. Question two is. The beeswax in the beard oil? I, I feel like, and, and I don't mean any disrespect like this, but I feel like I've seen this carrier blend before somewhere. Is this, are, are you making this on your own? And I have no reason to believe that you're not, but I would like to, I would like to would make like sure that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, why shea butter and beeswax in the oil? And again, none of this is out of disrespect. This is out of this is out of curiosity. overwhelming curiosity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is out of overwhelming curiosity. Yeah. If if you're still in here, uh, good question. Quentin. I think he left. He he might have. Yeah, he might have. Yeah. Uh, I would I would almost bet that's the ingredients for all of his stuff, not necessarily. Which to me be. would mean. The website needs to be updated a little bit. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. how I take it, but I could be wrong. We're going to see something real quick. I'm going to shake the crap out of that. I would, you know what I would say, Mick? It's a good question, though. It deserves asking, but just based on the smell of that red that he has to be making his own, or else we, one of us would have smelled that before. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. It, it seems like I've seen, uh, it seems like I have seen that now i don't know about the shea butter but it no i don't know about the beeswax it seems like i have seen shea butter in an oil blend before and that's the only reason that's the only mm -hmm. reason i ask mm -hmm. is because that seemed familiar that's that seems check slightly familiar DMs, okay check my dms yes my oh, donald long says i asked the last time he was on a stream it's a website text issue oh perfect donald thank you that's how I assumed it was. And the grapeseed oh, okay. is cold pressed organic. I checked with 
yes. with uh, Joe on that before. Yes. Okay. Uh, no hexing. Uh, uh, hmm. Um, okay, so have wax and butter in their oils. Yeah, uh, yeah they do. They do. Yeah. Yeah, they do. And that... Okay, so yeah, he double checked. So and and and, uh, and that right there is something I would expect out of a beer jelly. I would expect that out of a beer jelly. But again, yeah. you know, I'm not saying that that's truly in there. But it yeah. it had me wondering. I, and I looked this mm -hmm. up right when Joe said he was sending these because I was I was very interested to know if that was maybe a typo. Or, and uh -huh. I don't have a problem if it's in there. That's fine. I, mm -hmm. I would give it a try for sure. Mm -hmm. I've tried Boss Man Beer and Jelly. It was too heavy for me. Uh, but I'm and I'm kind of like <laughs> you, Ryan. This oil. I mean, that's a pretty daggum thin oil. I mean, mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a medium at best. You know what I mean? Or at thickest for me. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. medium. Uh, that's a man. That's a light to medium for sure. A lot of. Yeah. See how quick them bubbles go up? Yeah. Man, you do that to Artius Man and the bubble don't move. You know what yeah. I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. I mean. Exactly. <laughs> hey, Brian, thanks for joining. Yeah. yeah so, he may, hey, Brian. He may just be putting that on both his, you know, bombs, yeah. butters, and oils. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. say, you know. Yeah. So it doesn't it have to be. A, 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 just, a, just a template, a, a blanket, you know, a, a blanket. Right. Yeah. And hey, I would like to. Well, you know what? I don't know if I would like. I was going to say I would like to see somebody put that in an oil, but I think when you do that, I think you achieve beer jelly. So I, it's already been done. So it's yeah. already been done. Yeah. Um, scent is too strong. I had a few drops of pure cold pressed metaphone seed onto my hand. Okay. Mm, that's a good idea. Gary, a lot. He, Gary, I would like to try that mojo. I tell I you what, I want it. that mojo in is yuzu crazy. I want that mojo in yuzu crazy, like. That's freaking bar none. That's a killer scent right there. That's I a really one. nice scent. What's the mo what's the mojo? Because I was not in in the Chesapeake land when Mojo was out. A a mojo is it's basically your oil and balm in one. Uh, is, oh, is I'm okay. pretty sure how it's described on the website. It's, a, it's like a jelly type. It, it's okay. yeah. It's okay. it's I think it's quite a bit better than the beer jelly just due to what's in it. Gotcha. I like mojo, but I've never tried beer jelly too compare right. it with you know what i mean I, i've tried beer jelly but i've never tried mojo there the he had a few mojos left and i didn't pull the trigger on it and then all of a sudden they were gone so see with me with the beer jelly is if i happen to use too much then it makes like every bit of light makes your beard look like a 70s mirror ball at a disco yeah just yep. just everything just glistens off the beard yeah, <laughs> and it seems like it takes me longer to wash it out, and that's the one downfall I don't like. Um, and like I said earlier with the hammer, it just seemed like it was nice when I first got it, but as it set on my shelf, and then I was just like, let me pull this out, and I put it in, and literally five minutes after I put it in, I had to go wash my beard because it was giving me a headache. Gary Bowman wanted to know where your shirt's from, Brett. That's the company I work for. Oh, okay. There you go. It's Big Lakes Developmental Center okay. out of Clay Center. And that's the that's that's where I work. Did Mick fall? What happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> he got I was, so I was excited over YouTube my shirt. shirt. He's like, whoop. <laughs> oh, I whacked the shit out of my leg. Right oh, out of my no. <laughs> Uh, so, so, uh, yeah, man, I, this is good conversation right here. I'm, uh, I'm enjoying this. So I, I had a couple of questions wrote down that I wanted to ask everybody. I've already asked a couple of them, but, uh, you know what? This stupid hat just did it again. Mm, I'm very angry. Do? What did it do? Oh, oh, dang it. I'm a two snapper. I mean, it's all there is to it, but. And they just don't hold, huh? It, it's, if I, if I do three snaps, it'll hold. But then you feel like you're. But it feels like someone's in the time war. Brain. Yeah, it's digging in. Uh, so, what what does everybody think about this ostrich oil change? And there is a couple of companies doing it. We've got Magic City, we've got Black Rebel. Uh, what's everybody's thoughts on that? I'm gonna have any. to stay out of it because I've never tried the ostrich. 
I haven't either. So, me either. Ostrich or emu, I've never tried either one for that. Mm, no. Well, no. Uh, um, who is it? Uh, last, um, God dang it, broke ass has emu. I've tried it in yeah. there. Yeah. And yeah. Chesapeake does too. Oh, Chesapeake does. Yep, mm -hmm. Chesapeake. Okay. Chesapeake has, uh, I don't know if it's significantly more, but Chesapeake has a significant amount in there. It, it, now, now, we're not talking 50, 60, 75%, but there is a significant amount in there. Uh, I, I can't say how I know that, but I do know that. I do know that. But it's not because I'm vegan or I'm against cruelty to animals. I just haven't jumped on the Sean, train yet. Beards right. and shenanigans right. likes it. So I've right. got Sasquatch, and I haven't used it enough to give my opinion. Okay. Um, I like that he's done it because I like to see change and improvement. And if the right. science is there that it's a better oil, you know, why not? Okay, let me let me ask that question a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Do any of you think that? Let, let, okay, let, let me let me back up and let's just say that up the price of the oil five dollars, which it didn't, but let's say it did. Would there be enough of a difference in there to justify that five dollar price increase? Hell no. Okay, I would buy one to try it. Yep. And just one, and then if depending on what it did for me, you know what right. I mean? I'd make yep. my own yep. determination. This, this goes back to a comment that Brian made on the, on the grumpy bearded men. At mm. some point there is a finite level of awesome. Your beard can feel right? right. You know, there's, we have not, we have not gotten to a place where we have to invent language to describe the feeling of our beard. And this right. is my argument for CBD and why I, I am in no hurry. And I never will try and it's increased price. Okay. I can't think that adding ostrich oil, that that has become the freaking um, the one missing ingredient that's going to make us feel like we could float into the air using our beards. I get so, that. Um, is it going to feel significantly better? I don't think it's going to, you know, let's say the beard oil costs 15 bucks. I don't think it's going to consider or, or, or um, uh, make my beard feel 25% significantly better as far as okay. like the extra amount I would have to pay. Okay. That makes perfect that's, sense. That's that's, where I that's a good way to put that. Uh, mm -hmm. If the price increase increases twenty five percent, but the fill only increases five percent, then you can break that down. You can break anything down into numbers, really. If you if you really wanted to, I, I personally can't. But you know, a, a, a mathematician <laughs> a mathematician could break anything down into numbers. So I, I definitely see what you mean, and that's actually a really good way to look at it. Corey, you know, how you doing, brother? Uh, uh, look at this. I got a sorry, Mick. I got a point. No, this go ahead. Joey is eating Chinese and not pizza. Let's just end the show now. I think it's the end of the world. <laughs> that son of a bitch has pizza in his mouth every time he's on a live. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just had to hit yep. on that. Look what Waltham has said, and, and this is a really good comment. I love that. Yes. Yeah, this is totally really true, Waltham. This is really good. Uh, and real quick while I'm thinking about it, guys, uh, at nine o'clock tonight, uh, nine Eastern, Dave is doing the charity stream with Vinny P. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Vinny's going to be on there or not, but it, this is a deal that was kind of set up by Vinny, uh, for a little boy. I'm not, I can't remember the exact condition, but he's had but a it, bunch it, of surgeries or needs surgeries. Needs, and yeah. Something, something, a bunch right of stuff donated. They're raising money for a, yeah. an infant. Then, yeah. So if you guys yeah. got some money, try to make it. You know, Even if you don't have the money, try and head in there and show support. At least right. support it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, See, definitely. Hey, I've got a question now. So here is something to throw around too. So the average price of beard oil to me is 18 bucks. That's yeah. about where I see the average. You know, we can debate on it all we want. Some say 15, some say 20, some let's say 18 for the sake of argument. Is there ever going to be a time where a beard oil is worth Forty dollars an ounce? Hell no. Ever? Hell is there a secret ingredient out there that nobody's found? Hell bacon no. Grease. Joe says no. Bacon <laughs> grease. No. Well, here, here's what I'm gonna say. We, we've gone through emu oil. We've gone through ostrich oil. We've gone through CBD. We've gone through seed. Miner minerals. You yeah. know, like with copper. Yeah. People are bringing new stuff to the mm -hmm. game, and the prices. Mm -hmm. I, again, I just don't know how 
I know how you can make your beard feel worse with an oil. Obviously, you oh yeah, beard, right. But I just the, there's it's just varying degrees of really and really at that point, how do you know it's not the environment? How do you know it's not less or more human mm -hmm. on that particular? Yep. You know, there's so many other factors that could go into it that I am not going to ever invest i never go over 20 for a beard oil unless it's mm -hmm. for a cause mm -hmm. 18 is my comfy zone and 15 mm -hmm. to 18 is what i usually pay but mm -hmm. i'm not going to break 20 I, I just am not because you know why there are a lot of other companies that work for me that don't make me break 20. Yeah. that makes perfect sense gary yeah yeah, seventeen, eighteen, does, just to pay the business. Uh -huh. Well, you know, my what I call average is seventeen fifty. That's so we're know, that's pretty right, right in there. between fifteen and twenty. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right in the middle. So I call seventeen fifty average price. Market average is what I yeah. call it now. I, I, you know, when I first joined the community, everybody said fifteen was market average, and was, for the most part, I agreed with that. I think yeah, it, and was. it was, but so I, think I think that it's has climbed evolved. a little bit. Mm -hmm. It has I think it's climbed a little bit. Yeah, it has. Yeah. But absolutely. but more people are, are I think using more premium ingredients now too. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, absolutely like the squalines and the other kinds of things that yes. people are finding yes. out. And mm -hmm. and I'm okay with that. I can I can yeah. budge up to like if one of my favorite companies goes from 15 to 17 to 19 or 20, I'll go with them, but not mm -hmm. to buy something some new. Weird, yes, yeah. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Okay. I'm gonna commit this from a different point of view because yeah. of the four of us, I would I'm betting that I've got the least amount of beard oils. So it's not me coming at it from the experience. Okay. I'm coming at it from my relationship that I've got with maybe the owner, mm -hmm. um, a recommendation <laughs> from say one of you guys, like maybe Joe. Um, and I'm not, I can't afford to buy beard oils all the time. So, and then the price of it is also the other thing. Like, I, I'm not going to sit there and say, based on Ryan's recommendation, that I need to go to Fable and to buy the CBD oil because it's, what, $28 a bottle for the yeah. CBD? Mm -hmm. And then not only that, you have to buy it a certain way in order to get it. Mm -hmm. And what is my justification for doing that? Right. I get it. <clears throat> so, I get it. to me, it's... Okay, is it going to smell good? And Probably. how many, and, and I'm looking at reviews, I'm looking at, and you guys will attest, I'll even float a DM to one of you guys and say, have you tried this? What is your thoughts? Mm -hmm. And I also know what I like. So, you know, I, I, I seriously, you know, with the CBD, I've tried it. Ryan, you know, I was nice enough to win a giveaway that he was giving and I love it. I love the scent, but is it enough for me when I run out to go and get another combo? No, mm -hmm. I, I can't justify Not for that price. Yeah. No. Yeah. I can't justify the 50 to $60 for a combo where mm -hmm. we just saw the, you know, horned frog or horned toad has for it for half price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, that's so, a third. That's a third the price. It, exactly. Well, a well, third the price. You could get three combos. Out there, but it's yeah. Three combos of horn toad for one fable CBD. Yeah, I, right. I get your point. And I cannot, I cannot justify that. Mm -hmm. um, See, and I'm and the I, outlier here in this discussion, real quick, because the two dudes above me are the field geeks, and I'm the scent mm -hmm. geek, mm -hmm. right? So, right. all those things that we're talking about changing all pertain to feel. Right. Mm -hmm. So I could see well, why yeah. a guy who's really crazy about feel might do it for me. Where 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 scent is the main game. It, it just like doubles down for me. It's like another yeah. reason why I wouldn't do mm -hmm. it. If there was a company out there that would be able to replace my idiocracy of zipping my beard into my sweater <laughs> and be able to regrow this strip right here, maybe I might jump on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> but it. I don't think there's a company that's going to do that. Yeah. Now there, uh, yep. let me highlight. There is, there's kind of a fine line between what you'll pay and what. There's a company that we recently tried that had grape seed in that we talked about that had a cheaper oil. He dropped the grape seed, added two amazing ingredients, 
and his feel in beard for me may just take the number one spot. It is like Joe, you said, there's nothing that will do this. Mm -hmm. This company did this for me. Right. I don't know what it is, the blend, um, but his prices did not go insanely out the roof. You know what I mean? Yep. They just upped a couple a couple of bucks, and I'm a hundred percent good with that. They actually didn't even make it to what we call market average. Exactly. Right so they're still under market average. You know what I mean? So. And if you're fans of Beard Society, they didn't up at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, I, but I ain't going to say anymore because I'm a regular viewer. You, know, you need to become a regular viewer to get to the secret code right, we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were so talking about it in the green room and, and we brought it up at the beginning of it. The beard mana is just stepping their game up. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, I, I wouldn't say they're as complex as, say, a, a luxurious. Yeah. But, but they're, they're pretty close. They're up they there. They are pretty they're close. Because wow, this wait. summoning and then Enchanted Scrolls are the only two I have. But they are – I've not smelled anything like it. They're not forward yeah. heavy in one particular scent. And it's it's almost as complex as you can get. Yep. Yeah. Yep, I agree with that. I agree and I'll that. and I'll get I'll even say thank you, Joe, because you had them on and I won the Enchanted Scrolls on your your therapy. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, Brett, I also wanted to say you made a comment earlier uh, that you was nice enough to win that from Ryan. You, man, you are, you are, you were, you were so nice that you won that from Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah! yeah. Oh, nice, of Brett, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was nice of him to win that. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just playing with you, brother. You know, I'm just playing with you. It's okay. I've got a Look, question for Joe. He's finishing that beer, so he can yeah. spin it so much upside down. Like you ain't that far from him. Yeah. Part. Question Gary for Lewis. Joe. Oh, oh go, go for ahead. It. I was go gonna say it. Gary Lewis addressed a Ron. I don't see a Ron. Did you mean Ryan, Gary? No, no he meant I... Ron. Oh, right. deliberately oh, oh, deliberately. Deliberately. He was yeah. talking. He was talking on that one. You know what? That one makes me scratch my head too. I actually just had a conversation with somebody about this very thing today. Uh, Five hundred milligrams of full spectrum for twenty bucks. That's a head scratcher. There. That is a head scratcher. And I'm not saying that it's not true or anything, mm -hmm. but that that is uh, that doesn't seem uh, that, right. That is very uncommon, right there. Yeah. I I know another company. If you want five hundred milligrams. They they make several different milligrams. You can kind of choose. It's about if you 50 want five hundred it? milligrams. It's fifty or sixty bucks. It might even be more than that. I think it's fifty okay. bucks on top of the price of the oil. So it's about on top 70 of okay. Bucks, 60, so about seventy bucks, bucks to get that. I'll put so. it to you from this perspective. I use CBD in the internal CBD, mm -hmm. and that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Mm -hmm. That's just just in yeah. the oral CBD, right? No, 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 no. Uh, we're that, not talking topical. The no. uh, 500 milligram tincture that I use, which I don't use it anymore because of the price. My aunt yeah. was a uh, my aunt was a dealer of it. She was a uh, retail dealer of it, and at her price, I could get it for ninety five dollars for a one ounce bottle. And yeah. it had well, let me take it back. It was six hundred milligrams of full spectrum. It was a really not, good quality oil or tincture, it is but not cheap. It is not mm -hmm. cheap. It no. is not cheap. Yeah. But the benefits, usually for the person buying it, the benefits of it are what outweigh you, your quality of life improves. Right. So you're willing to pay that, say, 95 yeah. or whatever. It's the same with the Kratom that I take. It's expensive, but I've gone from having to go see a chiropractor once a week to I've seen my chiropractor in the last six months twice. And you're paying for that too, so you know. Wow. Well, yep. but th that's what I'm saying. My quality of life has drastically improved because my yeah. L5S1 are doing this, yep. and getting out of bed in the morning is a chore, <clears throat> and chore it's a chore to swallow that down. But when I get when it gets in, mm -hmm. I'm able to go. And the only reason why I was went to see my chiropractor is I actually, and I'm not trying to toot my horn but it's one of those things where you hear people getting adrenaline when something happens to a loved one mm -hmm. 
um, one of my one of my guys, one of my clients, is wheelchair bound, and he's in a electric wheelchair, and he literally took what we said to to heart and said, I said to him, we were at one of the places, and I said, follow so and so off off the, you know, where he's going, and instead of following him down the handicap route, he went off the curb and t- tumbled over in his wheelchair. Hmm. And if it weren't for me, they would have had to call 911 and the ambulance. But I just I grabbed the back of his chair and hulked it literally onto the curb. But I paid for it for the next week. And that's when I had to go to the chiropractor. But if if I, I wouldn't have been able to do that without the CBD and I'm not saying it gave me any extra strength. I'm saying my back was able to do it. Mm-hmm. because yeah, without the pain, the pain yeah. is gone so that's where i'm saying it. yes joe was like whoo, whoo, for the price but you're willing to pay it for you that know. to feel yes. yeah. yeah because absolutely. you're because if you're in always in pain you're wanting something to where especially me i don't like popping pills and i don't want to be one of these vets that you hear about that's a statistic because he's hooked to opioid painkillers where i can take a, a plant that's crushed down and my quality of life is drastically improved. So I actually mm-hmm. set aside for that. Oh. Or you see my wife who's got fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. She takes that and her quality of life is better too. Yep. So that's where we're willing to pay that extra little bit mm-hmm. because yeah. we're not out getting our pharmaceuticals mm-hmm. yep. per se. Absolutely. So I've used uh, <clears throat> I've used two beard products with CBD in them. One, I I didn't. One I did not like. The other one, I I did notice a difference on after several days. I mean, I, I used it several days in a row. Uh, mind you, there wasn't a butter for it, <clears throat> so I was using other butters and stuff with it. So I'm sure that tinkered with the exact result and stuff mm-hmm. I was getting, but. Uh, well, you know, I'll just say it. Fable was the one that didn't work for me, but Fable's regular carrier blend Doesn't does not generally either. work for me because yeah. of all the coconut in it. I, it has a, or, or something, there's something about Fable that just, it just doesn't, you know, it just doesn't do it for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the, the hundred milligram isolate from C, uh, from Chesapeake, uh, or Peak CBD, that one worked much, much better than, the than then the fable which also on the fable that was kind of the one i was mentioning a while ago when all i got was apple out of it uh mm-hmm. when i mentioned that and the scent might have had a little something to do with it also but <clears throat> the filling beard was basically standard for me uh it kind of lined up with fable it might have been a little better than the regular line for me mm-hmm. but i, I, I would, I would that say price, he, just needs to, he just needs to up how much he's using in there and then it might be a it might be a game changer. Yeah. Have you smelled the Bavarian by Clever? No. The Bavarian. Which one's that? Oh, oh yeah, it's no. The hops and the the apple. It was their fall scent that they brought back because it was so popular. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was gonna say, um, if you have, to me, the grower was similar, but they're I mean, obviously they're different, but they were similar in. In, in the vein, per se, for lack of better wording, they were I could smell similarities between the two. Now, obviously, the grower didn't have hops, mm-hmm. but the Bavarian did. But there's apple in both. See, I didn't get too much apple forward. I got a nice fruity blend with the, the rest of the other stuff that was in it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I I don't have I only ever had one thing from Clever. Um, America the Beautiful. Nope. Uh, <coughs> what? America you the don't Beautiful. Have America have. the Beautiful. No. You uh, need that one. No, I don't either. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? No, dude. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be real honest here. Clever beards is for me second or third worst oil i've ever used just for really me, worst feeling oh yeah feel it was horrible. feel yeah. feel yeah no the scent was wow. fine uh which one did I, I got that oceanic one i really like the scent mm-hmm. uh i got america the beautiful and the scent was insane insane yeah. 
Yes. Yeah. The seafarer. How seafarer. did it work on you? How did it work on your beard, Brian? Did you have? A you problem don't want to know. Really? Worst number one worst oil I've ever used. Wow. And I let and I let Ryan know that. I DM'd Good. him and let Good. him know. Good. It was wow. it was close to that for me. Uh, it, I almost wanted to shave my beard off. It got really? so so crunchy and it wow. just crazy. Yeah. And all I've heard is good things about clever. A lot of guys. Maybe love it was it. that hemp and something else going on in there because I know he uses a lot we, of. We uh, got we got to the bottom of what it was. I'm oh, not going to say it on here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. If y'all are still on when we end, I'll I'll tell you what it was. But no, we yeah. got to the bottom of what it yeah. was. Yeah. 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 See that? See, I'm glad. Honestly, and this is I, I'm not a slam. I'm just glad that I have not found really any. <clears throat> Mine, my problem has been the scent. It's never been to where I've put it in and been like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. have that that issue. And I'm so glad because oh, if I yeah. would have put in an oil, excuse me, if I would if that would have happened to me, I would have shaved my beard. Yeah, it was and, and that's yeah. the problem. <clears throat> It took a lot to come back from, for sure, for me. <laughs> and and what was going on might be fixed now. I, I'm I'm really I'm not sure. Yeah. This was this. Listen, these guys were brand new when when. This oh, happened. okay, okay. Oh, yeah. This was yeah, these were guys were brand new. So that yeah. the what the well, there's there's actually there's actually two things that are going to cause problems for me and Ryan both. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to assume that one of them is fixed now. I don't know that for sure because I haven't checked, but I'm going to assume that one of those two problems have been fixed. I, actually, I know the other one hasn't, to my knowledge anyway, unless it's being fixed right now. But mm -hmm. one of the two problems has most likely been been fixed. See, there's Brian. Brian says clever work feels great for him. And then Sphinx is like that for him. Feels yep. awful. So it's just everyone's, you know. Right. Right. Yeah. Everyone's own thing. Yeah. I will say what's funny, and I and it was I didn't think this was going to be something that did happen, but because I sweat so much, uh, I was wearing one of my uh, masks while I was at work, and it had white on the back, and when I took it off, there was that greenish tint to the back of my mask. Mm -hmm. When I took it off, I was like, "Man, that's never happened before." <laughs> <laughs> but that's funny it happened but it didn't deter me from ever wearing america the beautiful i i absolutely love that scent D was that Thank oil you, and Joe. butter or oil what? you're welcome was that oil and butter or oil and balm did you have them both oil and balm i have not yeah. been able to get their butter it's yeah, the balm the, that is green yeah because it's the hemp and, it's and i loved i loved their balm yes. i loved clever's balm it was great I love that green that it brought something yeah. different. I love that. Yeah. Now I will tell you this. I had a very early batch and I told this to Ryan too. Mm -hmm. um, I had one of the, the, cause he came on, you know, right after they launched mm -hmm. and um, he sent me America, the beautiful. And I went to wear it somewhere down the road and um, the hemp overpowered the, the scent. Okay. So I could like, on the, I was like well, on, on the, the ball, ball, on the ball. Okay. But he said it was an early thing that with the earlier batches, it was something that they tweaked and got out. And fixed it. Okay. And fixed it. So. Nice. Yep. Ah. Uh, ah. There you you see now? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Beards Dignified also has grapeseed as first ingredient. Interesting, Vato. Yep. Yeah, Dignified, Dignified doesn't do it for me either. I love their scents. I've got mm -hmm. a couple of them. I, I even, I'll buy from them every great once in a while. Just because I really, I really enjoy their scents. Like their scents are just killer. Right. Is that the one out of KC? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. We had them on therapy. They have that space cowboy. I want to try. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's them. Uh, Gary just Lewis, that's my favorite uh, Steve Miller band song. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> just, for know, just for the name. Just for the name. Miller band. <laughs> right. Song. Gary won. Gary won an oil. <laughs> from beards dignified one time and passed it on to me and that was my first that was my first go with them it was uh casey shuffle maybe it's mm, like the right. orange and tobacco the, uh, current. 
from the black current. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it was that one. And uh, when I won that, I just went ahead and purchased, I think, a, yeah, it was before they had uh -huh. butter. I purchased a bomb to go with it. And, and the bomb was actually fine. Uh, and, and as a matter of fact, when I used the oil with the bomb, that's back when I still used bomb. It wasn't, I, I think the, the beeswax and stuff in the bomb and, and whatever butters they have in there were kind of, kind of 86 in the negative effects of the, of the grapeseed, but it still, it wasn't, it, it definitely wasn't enough to, that wasn't enough for me to, you know, for me to use it every day for me to, you know, purchase everything in their line, you know, like that. Uh, Ron said solid, Clever made him crunchy sense. too. Do what? Ron said Clever made him crunchy too. Hey yeah. Josh, welcome brother. Liam, I went, man, why can't we be like Liam, Mick? He blew 160 <laughs> bucks this week, stepping out of his comfort zone. He's just going back to one company. <laughs> Jesus. Why couldn't we do that and get scared and just go back? <laughs> right. <laughs> we've tried and tried. I'll we've be made, like that here we've made lists. We've called each other. Well, Dude, don't buy it. Don't buy it. <laughs> I would say I we're getting better because we didn't we, we didn't buy anything from the AK drop. I did. It what what's funny. <laughs> I did today. I did yesterday, <laughs> last night. <laughs> I did last night. <laughs> oh, shit. I did not. I'm sick of seasonal scents. Yeah. yeah. Sick of it. I'm glad to you for sticking to your guns. You said I'm I sick of it until he quits the seasonals. <laughs> freaking sick of the seasonals. Now, there there was one cologne scent in there. I might pick it up, but. Well, freaking, I, you can ask me. I'll, I'll let you okay. know. Yeah. Right. From who? Anointed, Anointed. AK. Oh. Yeah. I am tired of cinnamon. I am tired of Christmas tree. I'm, God, I am sick of it. You're tired of winter. You're tired. <clears throat> no. See, no, it's funny that you say that because the other day um, that I mentioned this to, to Ryan, uh, Lux had that, they had that, uh, I guess, clearing, clearing their house yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Sale. And he, he had, um, let's see the harvest where normally it would be like what 30 some bucks for a combo. Cause it's 1750 per, mm -hmm. you know, for the oil and the butter, <clears throat> but he had them down to $10 and 50 cents. So a combo oh. with oh, 21 yeah. bucks. So I pulled it on the harvest. Holy shit. So good. So God, good. It's so good. And guess, let's tell, let's tell Mick what other one you love. You absolutely love rustic. That is fucking horrible. It is that so is good. Horrible. Nope. So good. Are we nope. talking hang on, here? Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We're talking Hold Lux. Lux. Gary. Oh. Gary, I Lux. hate the Rustic Bastard worse than I hate Cherry Cola. Oh, no way. Oh, no way. Oh, fuck yes. No way. No, really. is the oh, most disgusting <laughs> thing on the planet. Now, wait a minute. Do you have Bilberry? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I like Bilberry. You yes. Oh, yeah. I Bilberry like Bilberry. Awesome. Mick's, somebody, got a, Mick's got a great nose, man. He does. Somebody. I've got a great nose. Is Except, right for Rustic. There. Except for Rustic. Somebody the, that's right there cannot yeah. stand Bilberry. Yeah. I point to it's him. Not a, but it's that not my right least there? favorite. <laughs> my least favorite Lux scent Ryan now owns. Because I sent it to him after using it once. Oh, the Cupid. Yeah, that's my least favorite Lux scent. Okay, see, and I like that. I, I, don't, I don't mind that one. It's definitely not my favorite, but... Uh, you know, I'm gonna tell you something. That freaking Cupid from Chesapeake. Since we're talking about Cupids, dude, that smells like a like that's a it? cherry tootsie pop for me. I like that. Really? I like that. That's a good like a like. I mean, I know it's not a seasonal scent Ooh. per se, but it's like a Valentine's Day scent. That's what I wear on Valentine's Day. Is Cupid? So you get chocolate and cherry and dude, it's a else? it's a cherry freaking tootsie pop. It's Ooh. it's oh. it's got. Uh, no, it would be good. I didn't get it. Milk chocolate, white chocolate. Uh, I believe it's got some vanilla in it. I don't even know if it really has cherry. I think it might have. It might have cherry or strawberry. I think it's supposed to be like a chocolate covered cherry or something like that. Uh, With that vanilla cream that's in there, dude, it smells like a freaking tootsie pop. It's good. I had the whole set. I had the co wash. I had the butter. I had the oil. Yeah. And then not only that, Gary remembered I liked it, and I ordered a. Uh, I ordered You're a make uh, me buy that combo if it comes out again. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, I ordered a mystery box and he threw in another co-wash. I really like that. That's awesome. Come take him with you for a while so I can have a <laughs> Mrs. Mick. Okay. Milk and white chocolate, roasted nuts and cherry. Okay. Yep. What'd she say? She said to take Mick away and, and have him go with Gary so we can get rid of him for a while. Oh. <laughs> when um for Black Friday, when Gary um opened up some uh of his um uh discontinued sets, I picked up the Rhapsody and I really like that. And I'm not the biggest cherry guy. But yeah, I really, really like that. Right? Yeah, the cherry whiskey. I yeah. really enjoyed that. Now, the one I wasn't so big on that I think you were, Joe, and most people were, was Kingston. Oh, yeah. Gary said people hated that. But ever since Chris gave it to me and mm -hmm. I smelled it and a few other people bought it, they loved it. It's not bad, but it's it. nothing I'd ever rebuy or I wear a lot of. I'm a big honey nut. I like honey, and you don't see honey a lot yeah. in beard oils. Yeah. And, and and Gary said he barely put any honey in it, but the honey really comes out to me in that scent. Mm -hmm. And the rum is like perfect. I thought it was going to be very coconut heavy, but mm -hmm. it's not at all. And, and that's what I really like about it. It's it's honey rum is what Viber it is. Bully. <laughs> Vato, you win a beard therapy coin. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so, I'm lucky, Gary. God damn you, Joe. Yeah, we know that. We I know can't. it is. Oh, I can't believe so you won't, as much as you like honey, I can't believe you won't buy vintage. I know you hate the name. I know. Yeah, it's just it's just a matter of principle. I know I'd love it. <laughs> Joe sticking to his gun. Fuck the name. <laughs> so has this ever happened to any of you guys? This and I will if I anyone sends it to me, I will write return to sender on the envelope and throw it right back. <laughs> don't even think about it. I've already made that. I don't even think about it. Hey, bro, if we send you a surprise gift and it comes from Chesapeake, you can't write return to sender because you won't know what's inside. And if you open it. You can't return to sender. You got to pay the postage back. So you might as well keep it by then. You okay. can only return to sender if you don't open it. Uh, no, I'll, what you'll do is send it to me. You'll pay to ship it back. Yeah, I'll pay to ship it back. <laughs> 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 You'll pay the four bucks to get it the hell out of there. You know what I will do is I will rip off the label. I'll put on the set name it should have fucking been, and I'll send it back to Gary as well. <laughs> that's, that, that's how I'll handle that one. Oh, right. God. He'll put a white label with Sharpie. <laughs> Gary, can you just send him one that says something oh, else? You know? <laughs> he said he'd send me an unlabeled one. Yeah. Now, see, now here's the thing. Now I can't order from Gary unless it's through a third party because now anything could be freaking vintage. Yeah, so you don't so, know. <laughs> so now... Now what I have to do, Gary, now that now that this has become the thing, is now I have to wait for you to kill vintage, which you will because you kill all the other good smelling scents. <laughs> now I have to wait for you to kill vintage, then I can order from you again. You oh, <laughs> so here's a here's something funny, and maybe it's happened to you guys. Maybe it hasn't, I don't know. But when it got cold here, I had thought that I warmed up my butter enough to where when I put it in my beard, I was fine to go. And I get to work, and one of the girls that I work with kept looking at me funny, and I'm like, what, do I have something on my face? And she's like, no, there's something in your beard. And I look, and I was like, oh, okay. So then I go to, bath to the bathroom to check. Well, apparently, the butter beaded up, and I went like this, and it looked like there was like beads just all in my beard. Like, and to fix it, I had to wet my hands and run it through my beard. But I've it, never had that I had happen. like little white pebbles all throughout my beard. And I'm like, why didn't she tell me? No. Wow. Wow. You have had that happen, Mick? Yeah. Have you? I yeah. never have. Uh, what does it happen on? You know what? The butter turned out to be bad. Who was, man, that was early on. Um, Dad, gum, I can't think of. It, it might half of it might have been. I just didn't know what to do with it exactly. It's yeah. only happened to me when I notice where there's a white cream line on my fingers. Yeah, and it's not. It's not, not all the way down, down all the way <laughs> to where it's completely clear. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jokes. Ha ha ha. How often do you notice a white cream line on your fingers, Rick? 
<laughs> That's the better question. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. There was just a little white cream on the tip of yes, my finger. Just a smidge right there. Was it hanging from your earlobe too, Brad? No, it's hanging from my paint. <laughs> and I just, you know. So here, here's a question. How do you guys feel about companies with two butters, a whipped and a non-whipped? How do you feel about that? I, I like it because I don't know who doesn't like a whip, but I'm sure there are people out there. I, li I like the option. You know, Tyson, I, I think right. that's really cool. Faithfully do Tyson do. doesn't like a whip. Faithfully Tyson nope. doesn't like a whip? Nope. Mm -hmm. That's the first person I've heard. I'll of. tell you what. I Me actually, too. if I if I'm able to, I like to do the whip butter at night. Because I feel it doesn't feel as heavy in my beard, but I like I like the poured or the the the, the butter that may have a little bit of wax in it. Mm -hmm. I like it during the day to give some a hold to, to this okay. monstrosity. Because <laughs> I don't use bombs anymore because it just then it feels like somebody's sitting there doing this on my beard all yeah. day. Yep. Gary, you got what I was talking about, brother. <laughs> it wasn't hair gel. <laughs> So, so that oh. was the one innovation yeah. that I, I was going to answer yesterday or, or yesterday earlier, Mick. But I think Beards Dignified already does it, and and Balm is so yeah. unpopular. But but the people who sell butter in a four ounce, I mean, I don't know who uses a four ounce. I, I wouldn't go through it. But if you sold a four ounce with a split and did Balm butter, I think that would be pretty cool. Then you're getting that two ounces cool. of Balm, two yeah. ounces of butter. You know, I, I don't know if I'm, I'm sure you got to pay more as the many as the um, company. You got to pay more for those things that have a split in them, you know, but but that would be kind of best of both worlds. I don't know that it helps the bottom line of a company, though. I mean, I don't uh, know. You know, it's one yeah. of those things that I, I don't think that that company yeah. might like, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because then um, people want the whole line are buying the bomb and the butter. You mm -hmm. know, somewhere out there. There is a container, and I don't know how big or small it might be, but somewhere out there, there's a container that's split and it's permanent. You know what I mean? It's not yeah. something that you set in there. Right. It would be hard to pour. It would be hard to pour a bomb. You're not getting a bomb in a container if it's not melted. You know right. what I mean? Right. So it would be hard to get a. I think it would be hard to get a bomb butter. Is what I. I think now I could be wrong about that. There might okay. be something that seals off well enough, or maybe you could put the butter in first. Okay. You know, but I would almost think that that hot, that hot bomb going even onto the divider would transfer heat over into the butter. Oh, that's a good, that's a very good point. Cause them to mix a little bit, but he's Gary says it's not that hard. Okay. Mac, I don't know anybody of you that uses 10 ounce jars, brother, but uh, McKissick <laughs> has an eight ounce. Yep. You know what? He might have one. From a, he might have an eight ounce. From oh, and six oh seven, Ron. Six oh seven, got one too. Eight ounce, yeah, yeah. He's had eight ounces before. At the same time. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have guessed that because of the bomb being thicker. I would have assumed it would have taken a lot longer to set. Okay, cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Maybe it's set. Not all bombs have wax, but most do. But I was thinking right. wax cools pretty quickly, so maybe that's why right. the bomb sets. Probably why. I don't know I wonder, any of this science. I wonder what the uh, the vegan. Well, let's talk about that too. We got a few minutes left. Uh, I mean, what are, do we think that uh, that companies are going to start offering more vegan options? There's a lot that they're only vegan. Well, except for their bombs, you know. But I don't know what the replacement is for beeswax in a in a wax bomb. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sure there's something that's plant based out there. Mm -hmm. I just don't know what it is. Uh, uh, Turnbull Tonics but, just started the vegan line. Okay. Is that See, yeah? So do do we think there's going to be a trend of of this vegan line stuff, or do you think that it's or it's or you not could be like attention? You could be like Last Looks and just do everything vegan from the get go. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. I know Last Looks does, and I'm sure there are probably a few other companies that do. Okay. But if if we're being honest here, just in this small Instagram community, Johnny Grooms, Sober Chef Eric. But 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 Eric is even shifting his diet right mm -hmm. now because he's doing some different things for his channel. Johnny Grooms, do you know of another vegan? No, nope. there there's a few I've heard people, and I can't remember who they are. I've heard of a couple, but you know, so you got to think that we're small in the community. So right, let's yeah. say there well, was one one million uh, one million users out there. I would say a thousand of them might be vegan. Uh, maybe you don't 2, even have to look at it that way. What about their wives? 
right? Right. Yeah. They yeah. may not be a vegan, that's but like, their wives like may be a staunch vegan. Like and be... is, is Johnny really a vegan or is his wife? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's the old Pulp Fiction line. My yeah. wife knew <laughs> that, of course, very, me a vegetarian. Okay, but that's the thing, though. Very few true vegans are going to... Well, maybe I'm wrong, but I was thinking maybe very few would sit there and be able to... Uh, to eat a meal where the other one's eating meat and the other one's not. Because usually if they're staunchly vegan, it also goes into the animal part as well. It's not just, well, I'm vegan to do this or whatever, but they're against the cruelty to animals. So they probably could sit there and go, oh, you're eating a steak. Um, but I would venture to say if they're more you know, not as tight with their veganism. Yeah. They may be influencing their husband. So it may not be that the husband's vegan, mm -hmm. but they're, uh, is their product vegan? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Brian, I, I agree. I like that. I don't, I mean, I'm not going to call it a hybrid in between whipped and poured, but, but no, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that. I do too. Yeah. I, I think that's why I, probably why I like vitality so much, uh, because it is like Gary said, it's kind of it's kind of what you got there. Uh, Captain Stash, his is like that. I mean, he whips it, but he doesn't incorporate air. You know, he just beats it up real good. Um, I've uh, several others. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. You know, you know what's interesting, and and I I um DM Mac on this to to get his help, but I got two butters last year. I got Vitality, and I got Max Butter. And Max Butter um, separated and, and came apart mm -hmm. because of the summer, right? Mm -hmm. um, Vitality just morphed into like almost like a poured butter. In fact, I'm going to go get it because I asked Gary, oh, wow. I'm like, yeah. the first Vitality I ordered, I, I didn't have all the cool fluffiness to it. And then the second one, I'm like, why is everyone else's Vitality is fucking fluffy? And then Gary told me that was wow. probably a summer. But yeah. but it's interesting that, that, um, that one company's broke down and another's just kind of did mm -hmm. something else. Let me go pull that out of the bathroom. It's in, it's yeah, my, like I that. use it as like a shaving after shaving cream uh, okay. to, to mellow out my bumps. I'll be right back. So I have a question real quick for you, Ryan. And, yeah. and Mick. the ginger jamboree, is it a decent nighttime scent or is it? Oh real yeah. Strong? Okay. De I wear it at night okay. all the time. Okay. All the time. Yep. Yep. It has a relaxing. <clears throat> in fact, uh, it's like a relaxing type, you know, Every time I put it in, my wife says, oh, my hell, you have that good one in. <laughs> so that soap, the, the soap, man, that, that was, you know, as far as smell goes, that was a really nice soap to have because it would just permeate the whole house, even yeah. with the door shut. You know, it was a, the, the, the scent in that soap. That was the strongest scented soap I've ever had by a pretty fair shot. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, I really, I, I enjoy ginger jamboree. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a huge octane guy, mm -hmm. but I don't, right. you know, I don't dislike them. Right. No, just kind of middle of the road. Yeah. I think for both of us, you know, yeah, not you good, not bad. Not, it's good. Yeah. It's so, good. It's yeah, good. Mm -hmm. This is standard peak butter. Okay. Yeah. Yep. You know, Poured everyone knows that, right? Mm -hmm. Poured butter. Right. Here's standard vitality. Okay. Okay. Right. And then this vitality, which is the original vitality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got that kind of cake batter vibe to it. Okay. Let me get that light out of there. Mm -hmm. But see, nothing's oh, dripping. Yeah. Nothing's leaking. Yeah. But it just broke down from the heat. There it is. Oh, and it's okay. super soft to the touch. Oh, yeah. You know, it just comes. So it's just like a creamy, soft, oily, yeah. oily poured butter. Right, but not not overly creamy and oily. And Max, yeah. unfortunately, the the wet some of the oil came out of it. Oh, come and I up. DM'd him, and he told me, you know, what I had to do to get it back, and it almost got it back the whole time, or the the exact. Um, but even with what I did, there was still a little bit of oil in that butter as well. Yeah. So I found that kind of interesting. How um, uh, just yeah. the the science of that. How some butters do weird things, and, and others mm -hmm. change. Yeah. You know, and and Gary can help me out on this, but I think there is certain temperatures that you need to reach. Yeah. 
in order for things to not separate when they remelt. I believe that's kind of how that works. I think you have to reach, I think like shea butter has to reach. It's shea butter, maybe coconut, cocoa butter, I mean. Uh, yeah, anyway, there's a certain temperature. Mm -hmm. It has to reach to where it actually blends up and won't separate if it was to be remelted and not reach that temperature again. Okay, yeah, Gary said yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm pretty sure I've seen that on a live. I think Gary was making butter one day, and I think he, he broke this down. I think that's where I heard that. Um. So, so yeah, so he, what had probably happened, Joe, was it was a, it was, if he was new, you know, he might have just not known that, you know, you've got to reach. Seems like I, I keep getting 170 degrees in my head for some reason, but I don't know if that's right. Uh, Shay has to hit a certain point and stay there for a minimum amount of time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Or else it will separate, you know, from other butters, possibly oils, you know, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, it's an and, and that makes sense. It, it, it's important to know because you can't. And again, I don't know a lot of the science of this, but the only time I think you really need to be an informed purchaser is during the summer and and you're buying a butter, you know, just because you really have to look at that makeup. And I'm I'm going to start to now because the um the Mac wasn't the only butter that's come apart. I had one or two, and it, what can he do? It's summer butter, mm -hmm. but it's weird how Gary's managed to stay together just in a different form. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't care. You know, it's a, yep. it's the same good stuff as opposed to a butter that becomes not unusable but much more problematic to use. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, that is uh that is actually a good one. There. All these and, different companies that have been tried, nobody has found something they can't live without. Uh, that was a little creamy. The second is different and fluffy, but until those butters came to grease, they are, yeah, many are very exhausted. I bet you, Christos. I'm going to go with Christos. I don't know the X sound of Greek. I'm going to go Christos. <laughs> I have magic L's, Joe. You may. You may very well. I'm going to tell you what, you're a project making demon. And and most of the time you've got good names too, but not all the time. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time. That's a, good one. a great name. That's a good one. <laughs> Different companies that have been tried. Now. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, That's something I can't live without. I will tell you, Ginger Jamboree will stay in my collection forever. That's no. one. I wouldn't say I can't live without it, but yeah. It's one, it's not my favorite scent, but it's just so different and unique that I'll always have some. Yep. Have you tried yeah. Rodeo? Yes, I've got, I think I've got them all. Is it, Liam, is that for me, it, sorry, Brett. Rodeo smells just like, gives me like a Stetson vibe. It doesn't smell like Stetson, but it, that old cowboy vibe. I mean, you know what I mean? Ooh, yeah. ooh, never mind. Yeah. It's like, was, oh, Christos, got it, got it, Christos, got it. Um, so get, Gary, I don't know because you have so many since you just continued if you've, if you've done one, but my answer to you, Liam, is I'll always have at least one and probably two or three gunpowder scents in my collection because I believe that's my favorite scent for a beard product. Is okay. gunpowder. Gun, gun, and gunpowder forward, too, yeah. not gunpowder hanging in the back. I really like a gunpowder forward scent. So, Gary, <laughs> Do you have one in the works, or did you have a gunpowder uh, forward scent in the past? What do you guys remember? You guys bought a lot of peaks. I, I don't think he's ever. I've had never one. remembered one. No. Mm -mm. Oh uh, shit, Gary! Look at that, brother. Uh, I have to have memoirs from Honeyocker. I can't go without that. It, it drags up some old memories and stuff. So yeah, I gotta have uh, that one. Uh, okay. So what's this question? Uh, li Liam's. Again. Yeah. That makes sense, Gary. That makes sense. Okay. Scratch gunpowder sent a lot. Scratched meaning you made it or decided to make it and, and it didn't work. What do you mean by scratched? That that was the question, Brett. No, oh, okay. Right. Is there something for you, Brett? That you uh, cannot live without. Oh, wow. Hey, Faithful I Tyson's. Would. Brett, Faithful Tyson's in here. That's, that's, that's for you, Tyson. He's been waiting all night, hoping you'd be here. Meaning he killed it, Joe. Uh, I would have okay. killed the gunpowder scent. 
Oh, if I had to choose one, <laughs> it would oh, probably man. be memoirs. Oh, shit. really? Yes. Wow. Okay. Uh, really? Well, I I I loved it. It was the fir- actually the first oil and ball or utter oil and butter I bought in 2020, very first. And um, my wife loves it. Like every time I I use if I put it in a scent, uh, Tyson, <laughs> just, I keep it real, but. <laughs> Tyson, seriously, he's been waiting for you all night, brother, to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it's just it's amazing. Like I, I'll put memoirs in a lineup, even with other yak scents, and she yeah. she'll pick that one. Yeah. yeah. So Mick, you know what scent does that for me is Ringside from Ruddy Man. I remember hearing you say that makes the hair on the back of my neck stand up and puts a feeling (laughs) throughout my body that I can't explain. Really? Yes. And I have no idea what it is. There's a memory. There's something. Yeah. yeah, There's a feeling. There's a feeling. Yes. It makes my taint tickle. Exactly. Ah. Um, It's not my favorite scent scent to smell, (laughs) but it just does that. And I'm like, wow. Ringside is nice, man. That amorous in there really really plays well with the with the uh like the the boxing gloves and you know the, mm-hmm. the leather mm-hmm. uh Ready likes whatever it. else is in there you oh. mentioned it on the therapy last week he's a fan of that amorous it's been in a couple of his sets mm-hmm. yeah and i don't believe it's one of his best sellers either the ring See, oh. with the memoirs though when i pulled the trigger and on joe's recommendation and got elder it came in and my wife was like "Ooh, i really like that and for a while she was choosing it yeah. yeah, but I I was running low on my memoirs, so that's why I hadn't pulled it out of the, uh, you know, pulled it out of the repertoire. And then I was like, I smelled it again. I was like, God, I got to start wearing it again. And that's when she was like, Ooh, what are you wearing? <laughs> yeah, my wife never does Ooh. that. By the way, just so she you know. <laughs> what the she, she, what she does is, do you have something in your beard? And I'm like, <laughs> No, honey. Hey, no, honey. <laughs> what no. gave you that idea, sweetheart? <laughs> I got to go rub it up against men teachers at work to get any kind of reaction. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how'd that go again, Joe? <laughs> you think I lie. You think uh, I lie. Uh, well, work. guys, it's been two hours. I think that uh, we'll give yeah. it a We'll end it here in just a second, and uh, we'll give it some time for everybody to get a snack and a drink and go to the bathroom, and that way everybody can make it to the uh, yeah. auction tonight. Everybody needs to make it to that auction if you can. Yeah. yeah. Support, buy, whatever you can do. Whatever you can yeah. do. The little boy needs our help, so. Yeah. Um, I concur. Thanks, guys, for the great conversation, as always. Yeah, yeah thanks. Love hey, it. Love being on here. Thanks, Joe. We always love having you and Brad on. <laughs> yeah. Anytime you guys want me to come on, I'm – I'm willing to jump. So, all right. Um, for, for any Mick and Ryan fans in two weeks, they'll be on beard therapy. I might have to miss that night. I might, um, it's looking a little shady, but, but hopefully I'll be able to, to make it. But if not, you know, there's no one that that knows therapy better than Mick and Ryan and Brett right here. So yeah. Yeah, If you're not there, maybe, yeah, maybe. And then then Johnny will have to run the damn show himself and we'll see what happens. He's going to have to. (laughs) I don't want you guys helping him out. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we, you know what? Out we need to uh, uh, we need to really quiz Johnny out about all these blue wrenches he's given out, and yeah. I didn't see one by my name or Ryan's. Uh, oh, what the well, hell? And anyway. I was the original, so now I yeah. feel kind of like. But there is, isn't there one by Chris? What the hell? I don't know. But that's what I'm saying. Comes in therapy. <laughs> Johnny gave me my wrench because I actually corrected Joe on how many females have been on beard therapy. Oh, that's how oh, I got really? my new wrench. Is that how you got the wrench? Nice. Wow. So you have to yeah, correct Johnny. You got it and I came in, I said, no, or Joe. Had to do more. So basically, we have to correct Joe to get bear. a wrench. Okay. He forgot the lone bear uh, girl. And then he yeah, forgot right. he forgot somebody else. 
How many? And years? now off the top of my head, I can't remember who it was, but that's how I got my blue wrench. And he, he, Johnny goes, "Oh, okay, here you go." And I looked, I was like, oh. and then that was also the night that I put. I think it might have been Gary Lewis on hold, and it was accidental. It was not meant like I, I had, you know how, like you're trying to redact a, your own statement. Yeah. 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 My thumb slipped on his Hit Gary and, and it, put him in timeout on mute and it was, <laughs> and I put him on timeout and it wasn't intentional. <laughs> so everybody was like, Oh, he's the blue Hulk. And that's, yeah. where, that <laughs> came from. that's where I came from. <laughs> that's where the blue Hulk came from on the same <laughs> night. I got my blue rent. Silence oh, I love that. Which everybody wants to do. <laughs> yep. You accidentally did it. It was on accident, but I did silence Gary Lewis. <laughs> Sorry, Gary, had to throw that in there. Oh, God. <laughs> All right, boys. Well, it's been yep. fun. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thanks for having us. See you guys. Viewers in the chat, we appreciate you. Catch y'all next night, week. Guys.